Okay. What do I need to do? I need, where's the... Wait, L2. Wait, L2 to summon? I'm holding L2. Who am I summoning? What am I summoning? Titan? Is that you? Who the hell are you? Call of the Crosswinds. You're sorry not any of the summons I've used before. I think she just killed them all. All those health bars are empty. No mortal should possess such power. This is uh, this is impossible. There we go. I guess we did it. The difficult to fight, of course, it helped. I was level 66 again. Is it over? What the hell did I summon? Where's not? Adventurers, are you all right? Yes, we three at least. Oh no, no, this can't be. There you are. Oh. Oh, man! I, I thought you disappeared on us! Are you hurt? No, I... I think I was just dreaming. Uh, you sure you're okay there, Sleeping Beauty? Yeah. I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. I was so afraid you'd been whisked away to my world this time. Speaking oh, boy. Of which, do you I can't imagine. you'll be able to make it back? Well... I'm not sure. If I manage to arrive here in one piece, I imagine I'll be able to head home safely too. Do you really think so? But of course, I'm not worried. Besides, as a natural historian, the opportunity to explore an unknown world fills my heart with excitement. I'm going to stay here a while and do some more research. If you adventurers have anything you'd like me to investigate, just let me know. Oh, that's right. I never asked any of your names. A bit late for that. Come on, show the young lady a little kindness. I'm Gladio. Minex! Prompto's my name. Photography's my game. Photography? Taking pictures? Hold on, be back. You had your turn. How can I forget to be We're not done. You're some wingman. I was defeated by the gods. And awakened by a traveler from another world. Referring to Noctis. So who was she before if her name wasn't Garuda? Doctors acquired... Oh, really? Doctor acquired the Mark of the Vortex, a symbol of the ancient messenger's favor. Does that mean I actually get that summon? Doctors can now summon the messenger of the winds, press and hold L2 when displayed in battle. Oh, that is awesome. So I actually do get another summon. That is really cool. That is really cool. Okay, now that really, that was really worth it. Okay, that was awesome. Glamour Prism. I think these are the uh, outfits we get for uh, prompt for the for my party. I remember reading about those. Okay, that was definitely what the hell. New combat content. Emergency lockdown mode has been disengaged. Access the training mode to initiate a combat session. <laughs> Did she really just do that? Trading posts are open. Exchange materials earned in combat for powerful arms inspired by the Lady of the Vortex. 
And so I guess if I talk to this, I can go back and do it again. I don't actually want to, I just wanted to. What the hell? Again? Well, hold on. It's not attacking. I also noticed that it's white. It comes in peace. Hey, there's something written here. Training note activated. Redu reproducing battle records. Note reporting bugs to system administrator ASAP. Record reproduction complete. Ready for replication. All hail Imperial technology. Spoils rewarded upon victory. All hail Imperial generosity. Enhancing replication available. Calculating combat levels. Initiate replication system. Select combat level. The Howling Eye. Level 45. The Howling Eye. Level 120. <laughs> no, thank you. Damn. Okay, so. <laughs> what are you still doing here? What? Well, he's got something in his beak. Following sequence cannot be skipped. Okay. I don't know what I just started. I can't skip it, so here goes. What did I just get myself into? Oh. The credits. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, so I'll take a moment to go through, uh, go over my uh, review of this. Okay. What's with oh, Prompto and? Uh, and the girl. Okay. Um, this was uh, this was this was kind of fun. I mean, it was, it's just as short as any of the other uh, the uh, any of the deal. Well, okay, the episode DLCs were a little bit longer, but this was just as short as any as the. Uh, uh, oh, it's the cat. Really, the cat does not give a shit about you, girl. Ah, she got scared of it. <laughs> Animation stopped with her hair was still moving. Yeah, that's funny. Okay. Uh, this was just as short as the other uh, deal, the other collaboration DLC, the uh, uh, Terror Wars. Whenever the the Assassin's Creed one was much longer, but also a lot more frustrating. <laughs> She's being chased by the cat. All right, that was worth the funny. No, I think that's it. I think I should use this as the thumbnail for this video. <laughs> oh, okay, that was good. <clears throat> um, I like this. I actually like this one. This was a little, a little more fun than uh, the uh, Terror Wars one. And one good thing is, while I did get a reward that helped me that uh, from the Terror Wars version that. Uh, uh, I could use in the main Final Fantasy 15 game, which in this case, or in that case was Sarah's uh, Sarah's short sword weapon. Uh oh, the teleporter just come on. Is she about to get zapped away back to the Final Fantasy 14 world? Um, the uh, which which actually is a little bit more useful considering summons are very rare in Final Fantasy 15. You should be, you know beat some very specific circumstances in order to actually get your summon. You can't just summon whenever you want like you can in other Final Fantasy games. Um, but adding a uh, adding a summon to the collection or to uh, to Noctis's uh, that bird can still fly with those tiny wings and that big ass. By adding that summon to the uh, roster, if you will, that's, while it's not a useful while it's probably not going to be that useful because of the lack of accessibility to those summons. That's actually a really cool addition. It really is. I like how they added that. And it was one thing that I had actually made kind of a complaint about in the Terror Wars collaboration was that with the exception of the weapon, there really wasn't any further interaction or, or mention of the events of terror wars like there's no point I, i'm pretty sure there isn't any other point later in the game where 
maybe at camp at some point, Noctis tells Prompto Gladio and Ignis about Sarah and what and what he did in that when when he went to that world and and all the stuff that he did there. They never they're they're likely never going to mention that ever again in the game. Whereas here, in this one, at least they kind of they they not, they not only, in in Terror Wars Noctis went to a completely different world that was completely separate from this one altogether. Whereas this one, they brought the world of the game, in this case Final Fantasy XV, to the world of uh, Final Fantasy XV and included so, um, included in, into a major part of the story. Instead of it just being like a one-time thing, it just happens to be like a, a guest appearance, that's all you'll see of it. They actually incorporated this collaboration into the story. And they kind of did the same thing with Assassin's Creed a little bit because they they did bring back um, Loki, one of the Imperial um, commanders. But that was still kind of, I mean, they kind of incorporated the Assassin's Creed into this world, but not, in my opinion, not as deeply as they did with this Final Fantasy XIV collab. So, uh, in shorthand, it was actually pretty cool. I, I like how they included the uh, included all that, the summon, especially the summon and stuff. So, what uh, what does she sell? She just sells new weapons. Hey, wanna grab a picture while we're all here? Sure, why not? A picture? Yeah, it'll be a great addition to the old scrapbook. Oh, put the put put the the chocobo in the picture too. Come on, come on, Prompto, put the chocobo in the picture too. Where's the photo? Why is Noctis squatted down like that? <laughs> oh, and here's one for you, you Jimmy. Oh wow! Thank you very much. Hey, I found this. Any idea what it is? Wow! You've got your hands on something really impressive. I think you should be able to make special weapons with that material. It just might help you adventurers out on your journey. Gil is not accepted at this trading post. Gather materials and exchange them for goods. That's right, so what materials are we talking about here. Welcome to my little shop. <laughs> um, rune saber, vortex feather, and an elegant tome stone. Okay then. Attack power 200, or oh, that's the strongest, uh, strongest, strongest sword I've seen. 430, we're getting, getting up there on the attack power now with those swords. 430, what's it, oh, why is there, why is there two of them? Oh, it requires 99 elegant tome stones, whereas this one requires like Aruda's gaze, four vortex feathers, one adamantite, and the one elegant, 20 elegant tome stones, okay. So different prices for each item, even though they're all the same. Zubiks. Is that a man type? AP. Okay. I need 10 elegant tombstones to get... Uh... Okay, interesting. I know she only holds one of each item, though. Okay, I see. All right. Wind up Lord Vexus, a mechanical toy of the big baddie from KMA's popular pinball series. One of the only the only one producers to fall. Okay, I don't care. That's pretty uh, pretty powerful weapons there. I definitely say it's worth it. I wonder what you'll bring me next. I may spend some time actually gathering those items and uh, get uh, get some of those weapons. But I'll be doing all that off screen. There's no really point for me actually to show it because I mean, what's 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 for me to show you other than doing the doing that uh, battle again. So I'll do that. Um, off screen and gather that stuff up and get myself a better weapon because right now my current weapons are even Sarah's short store is only 179 so that 400 and something that uh, uh, hard edge that's 244 yeah th those weapons are 400 and 500 attack power each that'll be a really big boost for uh, for everybody assassin's daggers 126 mithril pistol 96, yes, I, I, those are probably stronger than some of the later weapons that I can buy once I get further along in the story in the later chapters and stuff. Probably not going to be, you know, in-game gear, but uh, pretty damn good considering. 
Okay, well, that'll do it for the Final Fantasy XIV collaboration. That was fun. I would say that was the best one of the uh, collaborations that they've uh, done up to this point. Um, I assume, unless they come out with another collaboration that I'm not expecting, like, which I, like I said, I wasn't expecting this one when I first, I just heard about it. I was like, what? Final Fantasy XV is another collaboration? This was a Final Fantasy XIV? Okay. <laughs> it was surprising to me. But unless they have another one of those, wait a minute, why, why do we have two? Must be inside the wall. I have two contacts inside the wall. Oh, well. Um... Unless they come out with another surprising collaboration or something, probably the next thing you're going to see from me in Final Fantasy 15 is going to be episode Arden when it releases in somewhere around March of 2019, so I've heard. Or whenever that's going to be. Probably episode Arden is going to be next. So, until then, uh, check out uh, the, the entire playlist of Final Fantasy 15, and um, yeah, that'll do it for, for the Final Fantasy 14 collaboration. Um, I'd like to send a special appreciation to the men and women of the United States military, both at home and overseas, as well as police officers and firefighters around the country. Without what you guys do, I would not be free to do this, so thank you very, very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As I said, check out the playlist of the entire Final Fantasy XV in the links around this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, I said that. And uh, thanks so much for watching. This has been the Final Fantasy XIV collaboration in Final Fantasy XV. Oh, that's a mouthful. I'm scoring. The Crimson Renegade. I'll see you later.